if you want the next year to be better than the last. And if you want to get a head start and prepare for 2024 so that you can start living your dream life and become your best self, then this video is for you. I'm going to teach you step by step how to end this year on a strong note, prepare for the next year and finally become your best self. First of all, we need to do a life audit. We need to sit down and just think about how our life is going right now. Maybe you think, well, I know how my life is going right now. Do you? Like, do you actually... I'm gonna be doing the life audit. I really wanna make sure, first of all, that I take my time with this, that I don't rush through it. I made my own little template in Notion and I'm just gonna go through it, think about everything, be 100% honest. And by the way, Notion is your best friend for anything, life planning, life organization, day to day, planning, anything like that. If you want to plan stuff, if you wanna have stuff organized, use Notion, it's free. It's so easy to use. You can make your own templates. You can use someone else's templates. If you're interested in this template, I know you can share templates. I just need to figure out how. So if I can figure it out, it's going to be linked in the description box and you can duplicate it and you can use it for yourself to do your own life audit. I will try to figure out. I'll do my best. Maybe this year or the past months have not been how you imagined they would be. Maybe they've been worse than what you hoped for. First of all, that is absolutely fine. I think for a lot of people, including me, this year hasn't really been the best, hasn't really been how we wish it would have been. It's life, stuff happens. What can you do? The only thing you can do is to accept it, to say, okay, it's fine. Life is not going how I want it to be, but it can be better. You need to figure out what isn't working right now so that you can find things that work for you. And if there are things that are just not working for you, let them go. This life audit is all about being completely 100% honest and letting go of the things that just do not work for you. This is also the perfect time to do all of the things that you've been procrastinating. Things like taxes, doctor's appointments, you know? What are those things that you should do yearly but you haven't done this year yet? Pick up the phone, call your doctor. Pick up those receipts, do your taxes. I gotta be honest, I genuinely do not remember if the last time I went to my yearly dermatologist checkup was a year ago or two years ago. So I think it's time to book the next one. I know we get busy, life is hectic, and it can be difficult to remember to do things like this. And also taking care of scheduling the appointment and blah, blah, blah. It's not the most fun thing. I totally get that. But it is important. What is my doctor's name? <laughs> I need to figure that out. Found it. Okay, let's book it. Six weeks. You have to wait six weeks. Okay, I'm being ridiculous. I literally put this off for a year and now I'm being shocked that I need to wait six more weeks. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know it is not fun, but do you really want to go into the new year with this whole list of things that you should have done in the last year? I think we might have started on a little bit of a negative note, but it is important to let go of the things that just don't serve you so that you can also be grateful for everything that went right. Maybe you didn't achieve all of your goals. That is absolutely fine, but think about all of the wonderful things that you did. Be grateful for all of the memories you've created this year, for everything you've done, even if it's just a fraction of what you wish you would have done. That is still enough. This is all about progress, not perfection. It's also about enjoying your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you weren't as productive as you would have wanted to be, but maybe you are also enjoying your day-to-day -day life more. You are romanticizing your morning routine or your evening routine. You found new friends. You've gotten closer to family members. All of that is amazing. And this is something we should really be grateful for. This will maybe make you a little bit emotional. I know that's what it did for me. Oftentimes we're just so focused on what we don't have that we completely forget to be grateful for everything we do have. There is still time. Just because New Year's is in a few weeks doesn't mean that you have to completely give up on all of your goals and everything you said you would do this year. You can still do those things. And that is why I'm in Denmark. Let's go explore.
I had a goal of traveling to three new countries this year because I really wanted to prioritize traveling. And I went to Italy, I had plans for other two countries, but those plans didn't work out. So I found some cheap flights to Copenhagen and I loved it. It was amazing. Yes, it's time to set some new goals as well. It's time to start thinking about what you want to achieve in 2024. Goal setting is often so overlooked. People usually say, oh yeah, I just want to be more fit and I want to be more productive. And then they probably don't achieve those goals. Why? Because they weren't specific enough, because they didn't plan on how they're actually gonna achieve those goals. Just saying, yeah, I'll do better next year and whatever is not gonna get you closer closer to actually achieving those goals. You need to set up a system. So think about what does it actually mean to be fit? Does it mean going to the gym three times a week? Perfect. What are you gonna do in those three times? Is it gonna be one full body day, one cardio day, and maybe one leg day? Which are those three days gonna be? When do you have some more extra time? Maybe Friday after work works best for you. Maybe Saturdays usually don't have a lot planned, so that's also a good time to go to the gym. Put it in your calendar, make it as specific as possible so that you set yourself up for success, for actually achieving these goals. If you actually create an action plan on how to achieve your goals, if you actually schedule it, you put it in your calendar, you have a very specific goal, you are already so much closer to achieving your goal. If there's one thing I learned the past year about goals is that it is okay to be bold. It is okay to want to change a lot of aspects of your life, to try to be better in a lot of aspects. Of course, you need to be realistic about what you can actually achieve in the course of a year. But don't be afraid to go for the things you really want. Don't be afraid to live the life you want to live. Go out there and go after your dream life. One of the best ways to even set your goals is to make sure that your goals are SMART. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. First of all, you need to make sure that your goals are specific. So I want to go to the gym consistently. Next, you're gonna make sure that they are measurable. So I will go to the gym three times a week. Is it achievable? I think three times a week is achievable. You don't have to do a really intense workout. I think that's very achievable. Is this goal relevant to you? Well, if you wanna get fit, then yes, it's very relevant. And time-based. Every week from Monday till Sunday, you wanna go to the gym three times. Put it in your calendar. And now you have a smart goal. Create routines. Routines really help you have a more structured and a more organized life. It is so helpful to have a morning routine because when you get out of bed, you already know what to do. You know in which order you're gonna do stuff. You already know how long that's gonna take you. You don't need to make that many decisions. You don't have to stop and think about what am I gonna do now? What What is happening? You probably already have some habits, even if you're not aware of them. Things like taking a shower right after waking up, drinking coffee right after waking up, that's a habit. Now, if you wanna build some new healthy habits, the easiest way you can do that is to stack them on top of your already existing habits, like drinking your coffee. If you now want to get into the habit of journaling every day, you could do that while you are drinking your coffee. You already have built the first habit, so all you need to do now is take your journal and sit down with that when you're drinking your coffee, and it is gonna be so much easier to build up new habits. And you can just build from there. You also wanna incorporate a little walk into that. Okay, drink your coffee while journaling, go on a walk. You also wanna get into the habit of listening to podcasts? Okay, drink your coffee while journaling, go on a walk while listening to a podcast. And you can just go on from there. That way you're gonna build all of the habits you want to in such a short amount of time. This is a perfect time to declutter. And yes, decluttering your apartment is great. I gotta do that. I really think that having a clean space helps you have a clear mind, helps you feel put together, helps you feel organized. But I'll also be the first one to admit that when life gets busy, I know that cleaning may not be the first priority. This is my desk right now. Damn, it actually looks better on camera than it looks in real life. It's a mess and we're gonna clean it.
But we should also think about decluttering our phones, our social circles, stuff like that. Yeah. If you follow people on social media that make you feel horrible every single time you see their posts, unfollow, click on the little not interested button, mute them, just make sure that you don't have to deal with their posts every single day. We oftentimes spend a lot of time on social media and that's why it's important to make sure that what we see there is as uplifting as it can be. Follow some people that inspire you, unfollow those that don't. And we do a little shameless plug. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post my daily life on there. Maybe you wanna see that in your feed. As with social media, Maybe it's time to do that with people as well. There are just people who absolutely drain our energy, who are never supportive, who are always negative, who are just not good friends or even good acquaintances or anything like that. You do not need to completely burn a bridge. You don't need to start drama. You don't need to get mad at people, but maybe it's time to distance yourself from some of those people. And you can definitely do that in a respectful way. Maybe it's just time to let some people go. Of course, now that New Year's is closed, we all want to achieve our goals and end 2023 on a strong note. But that doesn't mean that you need to burn yourself out, you need to be productive 24 seven. Holidays are coming up and this is the absolute perfect time to take a break, to relax, to enjoy the holidays, enjoy time with family, with friends, and just do nothing every once in a while. Bake something, watch some holiday movies, just Relax. If we want to start 2024 feeling strong and refreshed, we need to chill. We need to relax for a little bit. So absolutely do not feel bad for just taking some time off, relaxing and enjoying the holidays. I really hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be more New Year content coming, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.